so it's Kendra and today is Monday and Kelsey and I are just about to well I'm having breakfast now Kelsey hasn't come down yet but I'm sure she's gonna have some breakfast too and we have to go run a couple of errands we have to go to well we're gonna stop at Starbucks because I haven't had a Starbucks in a while like I think months it's been a long time since I've had Starbucks um because we're trying to cut back on like Starbucks because Starbucks too much is like not good for you and I never really crave Starbucks like I used to which is a good thing so I'm getting out of you know old habits so I really don't ever really want one unless it's like once every few weeks or something now so yeah we're gonna go to Starbucks and then we're gonna go to Home Goods because we have to get some decor things I feel like we're never done like doing things <laughs> with our house like every time we think we're done decorating we're like no i want to change something else so uh keep in mind if you have a house or if you ever buy a house you're never going to be done decorating it because you're always going to want to change something switch something up and have a different feel in certain rooms but today we're going to get some stuff our upstairs like hallway area because we have a console table in that area that we moved like sometime last year it used to be in our beauty room but it's in the hallway now and it just needs a complete you know facelift um there's nothing on it right now but a lamp it needs some love and we're gonna go to home goods and get like some paperweights maybe a candle uh we already found a coffee table book for it i think last time we were at home goods so I don't think we need that. So we're gonna go do that. And we're also gonna go, I think I need to stop at Target for a couple of things too. We're gonna have a banana walnut and pecan loaf. Mm -hmm. Is that the regular banana bread? They have a what? Banana, walnut, and peanut, I mean pecan loaf. Mm, I don't like pecans. I don't either, not really. Uh, they still got that double smoke sandwich we like. They got see chocolate scum? croissant, cheese danish. Oh, I did want to try the chocolate, but I'm like, I'm not craving chocolate yeah, at this moment right now. Right now. They yeah. have Masseuse Croissant sound good. You want to ask, them want me to ask to see if they have the, an almond scone? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's up here. Yeah. Hi, folks. My name is Eve. What can I get started for you? Um, hi, can I please get two grande chai tea lattes with oat milk? Absolutely. I want mine with a pump of hazelnut, right. too. Can I get anything else for you? Can I get one of those with a pump of hazelnut, please? Yeah, one with a pump of hazelnut. Gotcha. And do you guys have any almond scones? Um, so we don't. We have blueberry scones and we also have vanilla bean scones. But I have one last question about your drinks. Were they going to be hot or iced today? Hot. Um, hot. Oh, not hot. Hot. Uh, I'll have the blueberry one. Yeah. And can you make the? I'm sorry. Can you make the chai with hazelnut uh, ice, please? I'm yeah, sorry. For sure. You're good. Um, and can I do your kale and mushroom egg white bites if you have them? Absolutely. We do. And that's it. Awesome. I'll see you up here for twenty two fifty. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, they have a regular tip jar here. <laughs> it's normal. Yeah, I was like, y'all be a I'm messy. Like, I'm so tired of saying that Haley and Selena. I know. Uh, tip tip jar. I'm, I'm like, like, I don't care. Right. You messy. You're so messy. Ugh. They want to do that if it was two men. No, of course not. Awesome. I just use okay. that. Scan. Do you know if it's empty? Let me just um. You can use whatever's on it, and I'll just pay the rest. Okay, gotcha. So 12.15 is the remainder. Okay. Sorry, this is from a, I love a napkin at the facial place. Like we'll get our facial there. Look how thick this cloth is. In the bathroom? Uh, oh, nice. So then this is the one with oat milk that's hot. Okay. Awesome. I was wondering where you got that from. I'm about to say, what is this? I need to ask them where they get these from, because these like, they like okay. towelettes. And the iced hazelnut one. Thank you. For sure. This is your. Well, aren't they kind of like that at, um, but look how big. Santa Vistra too. Look at this. And then here's your food and some napkins. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. It is big. Like I, cause I hate like even though I wash my white towels, these disposable. So I just. I'm sure you can find these on thick. Amazon. I'm gonna ask them next you time. You can I find know. them on Amazon because those are like good to like dry your face off when you wash your face. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like I would use these to dry my face. You just throw them away. Though, these people be honking at me. Um, so I wanted to get this hot, but I forgot I can't get hot drinks because I went to a throat doctor like a month ago and he prescribed me this anti-reflux medication to help with my throat because after the allergic reaction I had y'all, my throat has been going through some things. So but it hasn't been the same? It has not been the same since that allergic reaction. I guess because I was like trying to overcompensate while I was swallowing and it caused like other damage. That's what he said. 
So I have to take that for like another like month. <clears throat> so I have to take it 20 minutes before I eat. And it just helps with like um, my anti-reflux. Because I forgot that the name of the medication starts with an O. I don't want to butcher it, but yeah. So it has been helping. My throat is getting better, thank God. But he also said um, that it is also what I have sounds similar to Globus. And it's also anxiety related so if i have like any anxiety my throat will also like have like an inflammation or swell up or whatever so yeah but it is getting better thank god but i hate taking medication because i hate when my body is dependent on medication um because then you have to wean off of it and i just don't like taking medication and i haven't taken medicine in years so yeah i'm more of like a natural healing type of gal I don't really like taking medication for that purpose so yeah we both just got chives uh, with oat milk but I did get mine with a pump of hazelnut because I like the flavor that it gives it all right guys made it to home goods just trying to finish our food my egg white bites the kinder scone this is a good scone I had never had a scone before me neither that's why I wanted to try it it's blueberry it's like a biscuit it has like a biscuit texture because Kelsey said it was going to be like flaky like a croissant. I did. It's good. I thought it was going to be kind of dry. That's why I never got scones before because I always thought it would be like. This one's not dry. dry. It's good. I got a piece of my tribe. Are you still haven't tried it? Uh uh. I was trying to eat it after uh, my egg whites. Okay. I don't like going back and forth from like savory to sweet. I like to finish my savory then have my sweet. My mm -hmm. other, I mean, other, other than drinking my drink. Got it. My drink's sweet, so. Uh, have y'all watched the new season of You? Because we started it and we were just bored to death. And we just got to episode four of part one of the new season. And we just didn't want to finish it because it was boring. Yeah, the vibe was just not giving the same as like Madre Landa or even season two. Yeah, because I love season two and three are the best seasons to us. Because of love. Yeah. Victoria Pedretti is amazing yeah i love her. and i feel like they should have killed joe off and just gave, I like, gave the so show to him. her they should have gave the show to her i'm just tired of him getting away with the same thing over and over it's so repetitive it is getting repetitive. it's just getting redundant and boring and i'm just so over it yeah i think the next season supposed to be the last season yeah joking on my nerves <laughs> he is and like the casting in this season i don't boring. Really, i'm not feeling them either flat like his new love interest i'm just like she is there's no chemistry this is not like, working at all mm -mm. between them it just doesn't it's not doing what it's supposed to do like, oh yeah i think we're here old lady hour I oh said. i love this hour it's so peaceful <laughs> so me and kelsey have found this window like the best time to go to whole foods not whole foods home goods is when like the older ladies are here and i mean that respectfully because i gotta be an old lady one day um <coughs> It's more peaceful because it's like less people and it's just quieter, less chaotic. The lines are, aren't as long. Um, so I like a, a peaceful home goods ex experience. So it's usually like Mondays or Wednesdays, right? I think so. Because Tuesdays and there? Thursdays be kind of packed at home goods. Every time I've ever gone on like a Thursday, it's a lot of people. What that lady made her mama put the buddy back? Oh, she did? Yeah. How you know that's her mama? Whatever. The lady's older. She should put the buggy back and let the old lady get in Maybe the car. Maybe she wanted to do it. I guess. Maybe it's good exercise for her. Old people need to move their bones too. It's they actually do. better for them. It is better for them to move their bodies, but I wouldn't be letting my grandma take no buggy back. No, me neither. I'll be like, get in the car. Maybe well, that's I just me. I'd grandma one volunteer to do that anyway. <laughs> no, Ethel would be in the car waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I... I do get that from her. Yeah. Francis behavior. Definitely. Don't be looking at me like that. Oh, and Kelsey and I finally started watching Sex in the City, but we on two different seasons. Because you started it before I did, right? Yes, I started it like a few months ago. I just be watching it at night because it's low-key like... Kind of a comfort show? Yeah, I like be falling asleep to it like some nights. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how much I dressed like Carrie mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even watch the show. Well, it was the 90s. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. In the early 2000s. Because I wore a lot of tube tops, maxi skirts. I kind of want to bring that vibe back. I think I'm going to start back dressing like that this summer. Hair style is super cute. Okay, fake flowers. First things first. I just want something simple and cute, like not nothing country. Yeah, I don't like all this. 
Can this just be just the roast? You know we can pull those off. I like this one. What do you think of this one? With the bait. Uh, you don't like it with the pink? I like that one better. You do? The one you had on um, first. This one? Yeah, we can pull those things out. Oh, you like, wait, I ain't know I had those other, what are those other flowers? Yeah, I don't know. Well, okay, we can go with the all roses, but look at the bottom first. I'll just pick from that one. Okay. Huh? Make sure there's not nothing down there, too. Oh, this one. See, this is why you keep looking. Thank you. Yes. Like that? that is so cute. Oh my gosh, that look like a um, whiskey glass. I love these kind of vases. Doesn't it look like, like a whiskey glass? Yeah, where's the tag? Oh, right here. Okay. This is nice, right? It's so cute. Okay. So we'll what's do that? that one. Okay. Now, these lemon ones are super cute. They They're given Positano. Oh my gosh, they have both. Those are cute. I like the place too. Those are cute. Yeah. I like these too. With the pink flowers. Oh my gosh, we really are turning into old ladies. Cute for yogurt. I kind of want one. Oh, like when you do like granola and stuff and fruit? Mm hmm That is cute. $4.99. We're not here for dishes. No, we're not. Self-control. So sweet. This, this is, is so cute. cute. Even though in real life, they would never be on their mom's back. It's still cute. It's still adorable though. I like it. Because okay. it gives like dimension. I don't want everything to like blend together. You're right. What is going on here? I'm confused. What they doing? It's another what is what? I was looking at the other more here too. What they doing? Um why are they on a the bike backwards? He's on it the right way and she is riding. Oh the handlebars. The handlebars. But this doesn't make sense because he can't see. So. Stupid. It's very dumb. That's so funny. I, just, I was laughing at myself when I said she riding in apples. Kendra, stop. Okay. <laughs> Let's go find some paperweights. Like we wouldn't like them. No, they're just for like show. These cute. I like right? both of those. Are they like an off-white cream? Ooh, they're textured. They look like they made a wax. Oh, that's so cool. Like the whole thing. Yeah. Nice. They don't have a smell, but they, I just love the aesthetic of them. What do you think? Yeah, I like those. I like that they're, they're different sizes. Oh my gosh, last time we was in here, y'all, we went ham over here in the white county section. Yeah, with so many nice ones. Hmm? Short for down, but it's kind of cute. Oh, I love this. It's giving 70s vibes. It's kind of mid century. See, I want something similar to this, but like darker wood for my room. Yeah, I know the wood you're talking about. So like under my thermostat area, mm -hmm. so I can put my records in it. Yeah, that would be cute. But this wood is not quite right. Yeah. But I like the style of this. It's mm -hmm. like kind of 70s. Yeah. That one's cute. Simple. And we can kind of already see how they look on the ends. Something like that. Yeah, they kind of look similar. Oh yeah, they, but these are a little bit bigger. I love these. You think they complement the table though? Yeah, you don't. I feel like our table, you can go with any vibe because okay. it's like a clear floating vibe. So you can do whatever you want. That's true. You're not really stuck to a aesthetic because so of the like kind of table we have. Ones? Yes, I do. I don't know. I just like how textured these are. Yeah, I like the texture too. It's pretty. They're pretty. They look kind of like concrete mm -hmm. clay maybe. No, I like to look at all my options. Is that following me and telling me? Kendra likes this one. This one. I like it. I feel like the gold is a little too yellow. The yellow to me. Think so. The brass. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I like the other ones. Those are so cute. <laughs> these are so, these are cute. Like vintage hat. That's cute to go in like bathroom. Yeah, too small for the hallway. Yeah, it's perfect for the bathroom. Yeah, it is. But I already have a lamp in my bathroom. Yeah, I love the lamp in your bathroom. Yeah, me too. Okay, none of these are good. No, these are all horrible. <laughs> yeah, I think we should go with the other, the other ones. I 
I'm gonna get in the hole to open it. I'll hold it. That's fine, I'll hold it. Unless you want to push. Hydrating. Okay. This like the gel one? Yeah, that's the one I use. Purifying foaming cleanser for normal tool skin. Yeah, fragrance free. Yeah, that's the one I use. Okay. It lasts me a while. And then I wanted the daily the gentle, like hydrating one. I don't see it. You don't? It's like it's like clear packaging and it's like a creamy. White oh, creamy. White packaging. Either way, I don't see it. So. Okay. That's fine. How the Venturium head lotion? I know they got body wash, but they got body lotion. Biolithic restoring body lotion. Oh, that must be new. Fragrance is great. It has shea butter, omega fatty acids, and B vitamins. Nice. I have to try that next time. I got too much lotion. I need to finish up. I don't, but you know I'm using the CeraVe. That's what we're going next. Lotion. Okay. It smells like air freshener over here. You don't smell that? What? It smells air freshener. No, this is what I smell. What? It smells like air freshener. It's soap oh. though. It smells good. Oh, it's kind of high. It smells good. It smells like air freshener. Like oh, I wanted to try that Naturium, um, what? this cleansing ginseng balm. Why is it so expensive? I don't remember last time drugstore prices was actually drugstore prices. Yeah, because the Inculus and my old cleansing bomb is $10 from Sephora. Oh, that's cheaper than that. Yeah. Hmm. Soothing Micellar Cleansing Calming Gel. Look at this. To remove your makeup. So it's like the cleanser spray. version of the. Uh, oh, the Bioderma Micellar yes, Water. Yes, the water. It's that much. Know. Well, everything going up. I see, but twenty-eight dollars for lotion. That lotion twenty-eight dollars. They can kiss my ass. No. <laughs> Look at the value side. Cause it's ten dollars, and then this size eight dollars. You might as well get the big one. Got a little bit. This one. Yeah. Yeah, this one. But I also really want to try this cocoa butter. Oh, I didn't even know they had a cocoa butter. One. Cause I tried this one before, and I love this. I just need a smaller cocoa butter one. Cantu got body products? Sounds weird. That's so random. Yeah, let's be late. They got the cream too, but I just want the lotion for now. Mm -hmm. They got Solterra body wash, but they still don't got... They still don't have Solterra. Probably oil. I don't have the oil. Because I used to like this matcha green one, and then this black tie is really nice. See, this is the body oil I want to try, the pink beach. Oh, okay. Skin softening serum body wash. Okay guys, so we're back home and I'm gonna briefly show you what we got at Home Goods. You technically saw all of this stuff, but I'm just gonna show you like closer up in detail with like better lighting. You saw these beautiful lamps we got. Oh, uh, they're like this stucco material, but not really because they're actually pretty light. They're not that heavy, but they give a look of stucco and concrete. So I really, really like these a lot. Then I like the like triangular lampshade. It's giving like 90s vibe to me. So I thought these were super cute. Okay, no, I forgot light bulbs. Cause usually the light bulbs that come with the lamps at home goods don't be that bright. So you usually have to replace them. I mean, these will do for now cause like these are gonna be hallway lamps. Like during the evening, I like the lighting in the hallway to be a little more moody. So they should be fine. If Kendra can't find any other bulbs. Forgot, I thought she put them on the list in Target. So we got, yeah, two of those. The other one's right here. I feel like this is one of the smallest home goods trips we've ever done. So we decided to go with fake flowers just because, uh-oh, one of them fell out. Because the hallway doesn't really get a whole lot of sunlight, so this is just gonna have to work. But we mainly got it for this cute vase. It's like a really pretty crystal vase and it looks like a decanter or it looks like a whiskey glass so i thought that was really cute so i've got this and then we got this cute little elephant and her babies so cute how cute is this i love the rustic brown color um, and then kendra found these cute candles they're all wax so the outside is wax and then of course the inside 
So yeah, these are cute. I like that they're the same shape, but different sizes. So these are super cute. So that's all we got for the table. So it shouldn't take us that long. We're gonna do it after we eat something. So I'm just gonna leave all this like up here because we already got like a coffee table book that we got our last home goods trip a few weeks ago. But like I said, we're about to eat something. Um, so speaking of eating, today's video is sponsored by Factor. So thanks so much Factor for sponsoring today's video. Well, first things first, I'm about to get a juice because I love these Factor juices. Like these are so good. It's like a nice pick me up in the middle of the day. And sometimes I like to drink these in the morning too. So this is the tropical fruit smoothie one. And it has passion fruit, mango, pear, orange, and lemon. Kendra really likes the strawberry banana. The tropical fruit one is my favorite. And then they have a mango one too that's really good. So here's the mango one. So I really like the mango one. With Factor, you can look and feel your best in time for warmer weather with calorie smart meals around 550 calories or less. With 34 chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options, there's always something new to try. Enjoy meals for any time of day with breakfast options like egg bites, smoothies, and more. Plus, replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45 plus add-ons. Get Factor and enjoy easy, clean eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. With Factor, you can give yourself time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list. Okay guys, so I'm just eating one of my favorites. This is the cacao pepe. Basically the wheat pasta with the broccoli and cauliflower. So this is one of my favorites. And I'm having a newer one. I don't think I've tried this one. This is tomato and vegetable risotto. Mm. Tomato, pepper, and vegetable risotto. Smells good. Smells so good. I love the smell of peppers anyway. Mm -hmm. But risotto is pretty much like rice. It's just a rice pasta It looks like rice. It tastes like rice. <laughs> it's very good. And I think this is probably like our last like vegan one we're gonna have, cause I think the next one we're gonna do is probably like a meat version. These are pretty good vegan options if you guys are looking for vegan options for Factor. So if you guys are interested in Factor, make sure you guys head to factor75.com and use the code GLAMTWINSTV50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Again, head to factor75.com and use the code GLAMTWINSTV50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you the stuff we got from Target really quick before we set up that table upstairs. Um, before we show you guys how it comes together. I just wanted to show you the stuff from Target that we got before I put it away. And this is such a random Target haul. It's nothing specific, mostly just like house cleaning stuff and some body care. And first bag, I got some of this Clorox spray. Well, Kelsey, you picked this one up. This is their, the Clorox Sentiva, I think that's how you say it. This is the disinfecting multi-surface cleaner. We really like to have like an in-between kind of cleaner, like something that you're not using to deep clean, just kind of like an in-between kind of cleaning product. And this is like a really good option. Sorry if you guys hear something. Our neighbor is taking the trash, their trash to the end of the, the curb. This is their Tahitian grapefruit splash scent. And this one is a new one for me. I haven't tried this. And I think it'll be like a good summer one to have. Like I like to switch up like my scents for like cleaning products because it makes me excited to clean. So we both got one of these. So this scent. And also got this Tuscan Lavender and Jasmine one for the guest bathroom. This one smells good. I have tried this one before, but I have tried this in the Clorox wipes, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've had like wipes that smell like this. So I haven't tried the spray, but it smells the exact same as the wipes. So I got three of those because I like something for like the shower and to clean like the countertop and the sink and all that. So it's for the bathroom. And then this bag has a bunch of Glade stuff in it. I have an obsession with these Glade uh, refill things. I've been buying these for years since Kelsey and I have literally been living on our own for like over a decade now. And my go-to is the Cashmere Woods, but the very first one that I always will continue to buy is the Hawaiian one. I just went in our plug-in drawer. This one I've been buying forever. It's called Hawaiian Breeze. This scent has been around forever and I still love it. it. Smells super homey and clean. It's not like too, too fruity. It's supposed to be like a pineapple and plumeria. So it's like 
a clean, sweet smell. So I really like this one. And yeah, it just smells really homey and nostalgic. Every time I smell this, it's just like a nostalgic smell. So I always have these. But at Target today, Kelsey and I found this new scent. I'm not sure if it's new, it's new to us. It's the limited edition. These are the Cotton Clout Dream refills. So if you guys see these, please get them because this one smells so, so good. It has like a very clean, homey, like really simple, fresh scent to it. So I really like these, especially for like spring, summer. Um, I like just like a simple, clean smell with like a hint of like warmth in there. And this has that. So we got that. And some other random things. I've never in my life bought a Glade candle. I was just curious. And this scent, they had this same scent, the Cotton Clout Dream in these candles. They're like these little Glade candles. So we're going to try them. And yeah, we're both obsessed with this smell. Also got like a bigger version of the candle. So it's the same one. It's just like a three wick one. And then we got those two little one wicks. And last but not least in this bag, this is my favorite scent from Glade. I have like so many of these refills. This is the Cashmere Woods. This is their comforting Cashmere Woods candle. I still wanted to get this one just to burn in my room because it's like a, a warm, like comforting smell. So I really like Cashmere Woods. Boring, I know, but got some bleach. But this one is like the clean linen one. So it's like the more diluted version of Clorox. I like to have Clorox for obvious reasons. I feel like everyone has Clorox in their house. But besides uh, using it to wash clothes, I like to have it for the floor because I like to use it to mop the floor with like hot water and Fabuloso like mixed together. So that's what this is for also besides clothes. I've never tried the clean linen one. It has like a little less bleach in that one. I always just get like the plain regular Clorox. Got a huge thing of Clorox wipes because we always need these. Okay, got some body care that I was running out of. So I need some more body wash, surprisingly. I have way less body wash than Kelsey, so I had to replenish. And I've never tried this Saltaire scent. I have tried Saltaire body washes before. And I always forget that some Targets have this Saltaire brand. Uh, the first time I tried this brand, Kelsey actually uh, ordered a bunch of the body washes online. And she let me try uh, one, and it was the gray one. The one in the charcoal gray, I forgot the name of that one. Smells so, so good. But we saw this baby blue one. It's called Seascape. Skin Nourishing Serum Body Wash. Looks perfect for summer. It's gonna look cute in the shower. This smells so good. It's like a very refreshing kind of smell. So excited to try this. Gonna put that in my shower. And then I need some lotion because like, y'all know my go-to like body moisturizer is that Cetaphil Body Cream. Um, but I kind of missed having Nivea lotion in my, you know, product collection and I needed lotion lotion because it's gonna get warmer soon and I'm a lotion girl in the hotter months I don't really like thick creams in the summertime so I got some lotion so I've tried this one before this is the intense healing it's really really good it's not too heavy but it's super super nourishing so I love this intense healing it has pro vitamin b5 in it so I can't wait to start back using this because I remember really liking this one and this one I've never tried before this is their Cocoa butter one with deep nourishing cocoa butter and vitamin E. So I can't wait to try this one. And then I got this cleanser from La Roche-Posay. Kelsey has been using this cleanser on and off for years. And she always speaks highly of this cleanser. This is the Purifying Foamy Cleanser. This one is their for normal to oily skin one. And I wanted to make sure it said fragrance free on there. And this one is fragrance free. It's sulfate free. It has ceramides and niacinamide in it which I love like products with niacinamide in them. So I can't wait to start using this. I wanted to use this when my CeraVe cleanser ran out because I need a like morning cleanser. So I was gonna try this for that. I was looking for their hydrating cleanser, their gentle hydrating one, but they didn't have any more. So I'll just get it next time I see it in Target. But I really can't wait to try this one because I need uh, a backup of cleanser. So this one I'm sure will work fine. And then Kelsey got some body stuff too. She also got the same Saltaire Seascape uh, body wash that I got. And she got some native body washes also. I've never tried native body washes. I probably should have picked some up, but I'm trying to be minimal with like my body care and not have too much stuff in my bathroom. I like to just use what I have because if I have an overflow of products, then I just feel like kind of overwhelmed with products. So 
Um, I'll probably try some native ones another time, but she got this sweet peach and nectar. I'm not gonna lie, I almost picked this up because I like peach everything in the summertime. So this is the sweet peach and nectar one, and then she also got the lilac and white tea. This smells so good. Mm. Yeah, I kind of regret not picking this one up, but that's Kelsey. Maybe she'll let me have it. I don't know. But this lilac and white tea one is also really, really nice. That's pretty, it's very soft. So those are Kelsey's body washes. And last but not least, we got some hair products uh, because uh, curly season is among us and I have been slowly collecting like all my go-to curly hair products to prepare my hair for the upcoming months because I always run out of products uh, faster when my hair is curly. So I just got one of my OG favorite deep conditioners. I used to love this. Um, back in the day, this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Moisturizing Mask. So got that. And then we both really wanted to try this gel from Shea Moisture. I have not tried this. It was Kelsey's first time seeing it. I've heard of this product, but I just haven't gotten around to trying it. And I have so much of my curl enhancing smoothie in my curly hair collection from Shea Moisture. We both wanted to try this gel. This is the Coconut Hibiscus Flaxseed Defining Styling Gel. So you guys let me know if you've tried this gel before because I have never tried this. And uh, I haven't been up to date on all like the new gels that Shea Moisture has because I've been using the same products for years over and over. Like I haven't been trying new gels and this one looked really intriguing. So that's all the stuff we got from Target. Hope you guys enjoyed this random little Target haul. I'm so tired. This um, time change is not agreeing with me. I'm just really sleepy. So I have to adapt to the new time change since uh, the time change, I think this past weekend. So yeah. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. There's literally nothing on here. Sometimes I used to put a candle in the middle, but it's not finished. And I'm like over this lamp. I don't really like how this lamp looks on like a hallway type table. I feel like it's too tall. So I kind of like this kind of lamp better for like a side table, nightstand type vibe. Not side table, but a nightstand vibe. So I think I'm just gonna give these away. Where the other one at? In my closet. I have some in my uh, bathroom. Oh, okay. Some dust uh, white thingies. So this is what it looks like right now. So we still need a little something to go here because the elephant is too big. So I'm probably gonna have to take it back, but I like how this looks. Yeah, cause the elephant is throwing us off, it's kind of clashing. Yeah, and I need like something darker to go there to add some dimension. But just not as big. Just not as, no, I like the color. I just don't like it, the size. Okay. I wish it was a little smaller. Gotcha. So yeah, cause it's like a lot of cream going on and I want like, a pop of something else? Yeah, a pop of something else. I usually just use like this light sometimes or the lamp that I just took away for the hallway. We have recess light in our hallway, but I just prefer warmer lighting in the hallway. But yeah, I feel like this looks nice and cozy like at night in the hallway. Cause like I said, our hallway is kind of dungeony all day. Like it gets no light throughout the day. Like it's daytime still and it's dark. Yeah, which is why we needed a table with lighting in this hallway. Yeah. Because before it was nothing here, it was just yeah. bare before we moved the table out here. Yeah. But I like how it looks now because the bulbs that are in here now are the bulbs that came with the lamps. They're a little dim, but I like it for hallway lighting. So I think I want to keep buying warm bulbs for the hallway. So when these die out, I'm just going to get some more warm bulbs. But I like how it looks like the reflection on the wall. just need to find one more little knickknack for right there, like a small something that's a darker brown color but yeah it's cute so yeah this is the coffee table book we found something brass like the kind of brass at the top of the lamps oh the compliment oh, okay that'll be cute too huh but yeah this is the coffee table book we have here susan kessler we looked through this book oh my gosh so many pretty rooms in this book so yeah we found this at 
home goods last time and it goes so pretty on this table. So I love the flow, how everything is flowing together. It's nice. shower and I wash my face and I want to share with you guys what I've been using on my skin because I haven't done like an updated skincare routine on the main channel in a while so I figured I'd just show you guys over here for right now until I do like an updated one so I just washed my face I double cleansed of course um so when I'm not wearing makeup I'll just use this first this is the La Roche Posay gentle foaming moisturizing wash so I love this stuff so I use this like pretty much almost like every day. And then I use this every day. This is their purifying foaming cleanser. Um, so yeah, I'm almost out. But yeah, this lasts me a very long time. I love this stuff. But like once a week, I like to do this mask. I'm actually about to put it on now. This is from Paula's Choice. This is a peel. I hope y'all can hit my music. Let me, just in case, let me pause it. Cause my music just gets me in a nice relaxed mood um but yeah this is the skin perfecting um aha and bha exfoliate peel and it has 25 percent aha and two percent bha so i only do this like once a week like i see it so it's like a liquid and i just do like that and then i just smear it all over my face so yeah, this is really good if you have dark spots or acne. So it's a nice pick me up during the week. So it helps to get rid of any dead skin cells on the surface of the skin. And it also helps the rest of your skincare products to penetrate better after you rinse it off. So I just leave it on like 10 minutes. And I get this off Sephora if you wanna know like the full details and benefits of it. But yeah. If you know about chemical exfoliants, then you pretty much know what this does. So I guess you can compare it to like the Drunk Elephant TLC um, mask. I used to use that a lot, it's really nice. Um, so that's also like a chemical exfoliant type peel situation. I don't put this on my neck because I have a very sensitive neck. So I just don't put it on my neck. Like if I put anything like with a lot of actors on my neck, I'll get like a rash or something. So I just prefer not to put anything on my neck. So yeah. So while I let this sit, let me show you guys what else I've been using. Once a week, I also cleanse with this La Roche-Posay medicated cleanser. This is their salicylic acid cleanser. So it's only 2% salicylic acid. So it's not too strong, but I like to cleanse with this like maybe two times out of the week, but I don't use it every day because it is Kind of drying so i only like to use it two times a week so after i rinse this off in like the next 10 minutes i'll uh, go in with my Aroslo. if you guys have seen any of my skincare routines you know this is what helped me clear my acne so go to a dermatologist see if they can get you on a prescription retinoid because it's life-changing so this is an acne killer and also if you use retinoids the byproduct of it is nice plump youthful skin so it helps with fine lines and just basically rejuvenating your skin so yes this is a hero product after that i'll put on my snail mucin i love this stuff it feels like a nice um serum texture it says essence but to me it feels like a serum so that's why i like to just put it on after my retinoid um now the days that i don't use that um my retinoid like tuesdays and thursdays I'll um, go in with this right after I cleanse. And this is the Situ Lactic Tonic. So this is the AHA resurfacing like liquid foliant. So this is basically like the Polish Choice BHA exfoliant, liquid, liquid exfoliant. <laughs> I can't talk. So this is basically like that, but this is like more watery um, because I feel like the Polish Choice one is a tad bit more, it's a little thicker than this. Um, so yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays I go on with this and then I'll go on with this while my face is still a little bit damp from this. So yeah, but 
today is Monday, so I'm gonna put that behind my retinoid. To moisturize, of course, I just always use my Avian cream. I need some more. <laughs> I have squeezed this thing to death, but I have another backup ready to go. So I love my Avian cream. So I use this to moisturize on most days because my skin um, does get pretty dry. Now when my skin is extra dry, right after that snail mucin, I'll just put this on. So this is the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. So this is the cream version of the serum and then I'll put on my Avian cream. But if my skin is not that dry that day, I'll just put this on. But since I'm doing this mask, I'm gonna put this on and then my Avian cream. I'll show y'all the order like as it's sitting here after. I told y'all I only use my retinoid on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays after my lactic acid, I'll put on this salicylic acid acne treatment serum. So this is just um, a nice like preventative serum for me. So this is also good if you have active acne, but I also like this when I'm not breaking out and I really haven't been breaking out in years, thank God, because of my retinoid. But I just still like to use products that are preventative that keep my skin nice and smooth because sometimes I do get like whiteheads. So this is really helpful for whiteheads and blackheads. Like if you get them on your forehead or anything or on your chin because sometimes i do so this is good for that so i'll use this on tuesdays and thursdays um because for a while i was using their the la roche posay dark spot serum the white one i love that one um i just finished the bottle but i'll probably go back to that after i'm done using this um so i use this on tuesdays and thursdays so these two are on tuesdays and thursdays y'all stand with me okay i know this is a lot but i get a lot of questions about my skin so I'm just trying to like tell you guys what I use and what I do. And then like one week out of the entire month, I won't use my retinoid because I like to give my skin a little bit of a break and I'll just use like a like more gentle store-bought version of retinol. So I like to use the La Roche-Posay B3 retinol. So I'll use this one week out of the month to give my skin a break from uh, my Aroslo. Um, so this just says retinol B3 serum and this is for anti-wrinkle and renewing slash resurfacing. So pretty much what retinol does, um, or retinoid, retinoid is a stronger version of retinol. Retinol is a derivative of retinoid. So it's not as strong um, because you can buy it like at the drugstore, but it still works really well. I like this one too because it does have B3 in it. So it's not going to dry your skin out. Um, it's like a yellowy color most vitamin a serums are this color and if you have a retinol that's not like a yellowy texture um, it probably does not have that much retinol in it so just keep that in mind especially if there's not a percentage on it like this doesn't have like a percentage on it so it's not that high um, which is why i use it like one week out of the month kind of give my skin a break but i still kind of want to use some kind of resurfacing anti-wrinkle serum if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is really, really nice if you're new to retinol and you don't want to like shock your skin and like go straight for a dermatologist prescribed retinoid. This is really great to start out with because there's not a lot of good um, over-the-counter retinols you can get that actually work. Um, but if you want to get something like at the drugstore to get your hands on quicker, the La Roche-Posay one is nice. Also, one that I started out with was the Obaji one. That one is really good. Before I started using that one, the Aroslo one, um, I used um, a Dapalene gel um, before I started using Aroslo. And before that, like an over-the-counter one, like I said, was the Obaji one that I tried. I think it was 0.1% retinol or something like that. It's like a lotion-y cream texture. So that one is really good to start out with as well. And I get that one. Well, I got that one off of Derm Store. I don't buy it anymore, but yeah, I might go back to it. We'll see. I don't know. I ran out of my Strivecta neck cream, so I don't have any more, but my neck loves that stuff. It's amazing. I do drag most of this down my neck, but typically I like to have a separate routine for my neck because like I said, I have a very sensitive neck. So I just like a different routine for it. So lately I've just been using this Eve Loam Radiance Repair Retinol Serum. So I've just been putting this all over my neck. It's kind of hard to see because this is like, there we go. So I've been using this on my neck. And then after that, I'll go in with a cream. So I've been using this 
Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream from First Aid Beauty. So this is also a really good neck cream for me. It's a lot lighter than my Strivectin Cream because my Strivectin Cream is way thicker. So I'm gonna have to get another one of those during the Sephora sale because that stuff is amazing. I've gone through like maybe four jars, three jars. I think three jars because I try not to use too much because sometimes I do get kind of heavy handed with it because it is expensive. Because uh, the last jar that I used up, they actually sent it to me because I did a sponsorship with them. But yeah. So yeah, here's the routine. So you want to screenshot that. Yeah. So that is what I've been using. Oh, and then for my lashes, look how long my lashes are, y'all. Do we see this? Do we see my lashes? Okay. So for my lashes, I have been using, well, first of all, I've been using this for the longest time. This is the DHC eyelash tonic. Sorry, the words are getting kind of wiped off. So I get this on Target.com. Maybe you can find it in store at Target, but it's always so hard to find in store. So check Target's website. So I use this and I've been using this Revita Lash Advanced Eyelash Conditioner. This stuff is magical. It's very expensive, but it's magical. So this is what I've been using on my eyelashes. So if you've been trying to grow your lashes out after getting like uh, eyelash extensions or something or if you use um, strip lashes a lot trying to get your lashes back you know healthy and you know flourishing these two work amazing honestly you can just buy this because this is so freaking it's expensive I honestly just use this as like a conditioner for the lashes um, to keep them nice and strong and conditioned but I use this on the actual lash line to make them grow my little lash routine because for the longest time i was using um vitamin e oil or sometimes i would do castor which works really well but those two just work way faster i've noticed the oil just takes a little longer i'm going to try to link all of this in the description for you guys even though i can't link my retinoid the aroslo because i get it prescribed from my dermatologist but i will link everything else i guess i can show y'all my um my daytime too because that's just as important as nighttime especially with me using all these actives on my face during the day <laughs> this is going to be a very long part of this video but i love talking about skincare just as much as i like talking about like hair products so yeah so yeah prepare for like you know all of my cocktail rendezvous during the summer when i go curly because i'm gonna be talking about hair products a lot so prepare yourselves but for morning, I'll first go in with this, another La Roche-Posay product. Telling y'all I love their products. My skin loves their products. So this is their Pigma Clear Cleanser. This is their Brightening Foaming Cleanser. So this is LHA. This is their LHA Cleanser. So this is great. Um, also, if your skin is very prone to hyperpigmentation. And then I've been using this Eye Revive Gel Treatment. So this is just an eye gel I like to use. You guys know I don't use eye cream at night. So... It doesn't want to focus but whatever so i only use eye creams or like gels i use them in the morning because i love the cooling feeling that an eye gel gives me in the morning in case my eyes are puffy or something so i've just been using this i was using the huda beauty one it's like in green packaging that one was okay but i really like this one a lot so it feels so nice when i get up under my eyes i don't see the need to use an eye cream at night some people see a difference, but I personally don't. Most eye creams just don't do anything for me other than give me those stupid, annoying, like, milia bumps under my eyes. So that's why I prefer, like, gels under my eyes and not creams. And then after that, I'll go in with a vitamin C serum. So I was using niacinamide, but I'm trying to give my skin a break um, to kind of, like, reintroduce into my skincare in a few months. But right now, I'm back to using vitamin C. I haven't used vitamin C in quite some time because certain vitamin C's make my skin more sensitive for some reason. Um, but this one is really nice. This is the La Roche-Posay one. So this one is really good. So I've been using this one as of lately. Now I'm not sure if this makes a difference with hyperpigmentation as of right now, because I've only been using it for like a week and three days, maybe like a week and three days. So I can't give you like a full review, like on all the other products I've been using for either years or months, but yeah. 
I've only been using this for a short amount of time, but it has really nice texture and it doesn't make my skin oily because a lot of vitamin C's make my skin so oily throughout the day. So annoying. So I love this one. And then I'll just go in with a moisturizer and a sunscreen. So this is the moisturizer I've been using in the morning. This is the Biba Los Angeles Gel Moisturizer. Yeah, this is their Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. So this is excellent if you have oily skin. This stuff is so bomb. It's so like light and just cooling and just very nice on the skin for morning. So I love this. So I get this directly off of Biba Los Angeles website. She's an esthetician in Los Angeles. Um, maybe one day I can get an appointment with her because she is like nearly impossible to book with because she has mostly celebrity clients. So, and then for sunscreen, I showed y'all this in our packing video. Well, during the packing portion of um, our vlog when we went to LA. So this is the sunscreen I've been using, the Eucerin SPF 50. So this is excellent if you have oily skin. So this is the oil control formula. I love Eucerin, it's amazing. Like Eucerin is also one of my favorite brands because it's really good if you have sensitive skin. So I love this stuff. So if you've been looking for a sunscreen that has no white cast, does not leave you oily and like absorbed really fast, then this is bomb. And the pump gives you a lot, like it gives you the exact amount you need. So I'll do one pump for my face and then I'll do another pump for my neck. This stuff is amazing. But yeah, that's enough skincare talk for now. I'm about to rinse this off and then go down and make some dinner and relax. So yeah.